Let's see what kind of reverse Lucina dive we can get going. So I'm gonna try some things out. So Lucina has a bow and Chloe is on a horse. So she can go here and she's fine, right? It's saying it has lethal, but I'm skeptical, right? Unless she crits me with Parthia. It's effective flying, so we're not a flyer. She has this stuff, but whatever. She can't she can't hit me at two range on this tile, so check this out. We're gonna go here. We're just gonna chill out. I'm not gonna Astro Storm because it doesn't do that much damage anyways on this particular Chloe. So she's just gonna wait. And then we're gonna have Jade, who she shouldn't attack. Engage. Great Aether <laughs> with a massive <laughs> a massive weapon. So we should deal absolutely crazy damage. Depending on where Lucina goes. She should if she goes here or here, which I believe she will to attack Chloe, we get this counterattack, and then we open the turn with her taking off with me taking off a health bar. All right, let's get these units in. All right, let's see how this goes. This is the this is the Lucina reverse. Here we go. All right, good, no crit. All right, there's damage. All right, so we take off a health bar. That's not bad. This is like right after doing chapter 13. All right, then Great Aether takes off a health bar without consuming Jade's action. How much does this hit for? Jesus Christ! <laughs> it had a 42! Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. How much? That's all. That can. That's a whole, an entire health bar. If you can get this unit to take off a health bar, that's two health bars. That's wild. All right, now check this out. All right, I can take off another health bar just by whacking her. That's insane. All right, so I can, <laughs> I can just whack her. I can whack her for free here. This this might be the easiest way to take her out. Just like great weapons. This is Jade too. She doesn't even have like super high strength. Look at that. This is an easy Lucina kill now. At this point, I don't even have to think about this. This look at this guy. He's stuck. He's stuck in here. That's hilarious. He teleported in, or he um, he's in a position where he's just stuck. All right, Kagetsu being S tier. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, he's base. This is a base Kagetsu. I'm joking. Relax. All right, look at this attack now. Look at this. Look at that. That's great. All right, so sailing. What can you do this archer? Can you kill this? Kill this archer. She can kind of kill this archer. Unfortunately, the clones are in the way. Boucheron can't hit this, so I'm not gonna. I'm not about to dispel the clones. <laughs> All right, so sailing will just heal. But this is probably one of the easiest Lucina kills I've ever done. Where you just set this up. Honestly, I think Mage Knight Chloe is the thing. To be honest, I think it's really good. I think it's actually, it's potentially better than her on Wyvern. The Wyvern is good. So you put her on Griffin right away, because she has higher magic growth than strength. And on this, she actually has 60%. So it's pretty legit. It's pretty solid. So here's your Lucina dive. You take off a health bar for free. This is super early. This is before chapter 14. This is without even using, like, this is a base level Kagetsu. I'm using Jade. You could easily create that combo. So I had to build up Speed Taker. So you run a fast unit, like a Pandreo, a Kagetsu, an Ana, whatever. Some fast unit with Speed Taker. Get them to 28 speed or higher. Enemy phase, you know, without being a flyer. Because <laughs> you don't get to use Bonded Shield here. Um, you could also use a Dancer, but that's, like, later on. That's not bad, though. It's a decent dive. Uh, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Feel free to drop a comment. Peace.